everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Milwaukee Beer Review. As always, I'm Josh. I'm Ross. And I'm Andy. And we are, as you know, continuing our Advent Calendar series tonight. As always, I have got the Costco German Beerified Calendar. Mr. Ross has got the Three Cellars Mystery Beer Calendar. And Mr. Lau is joining us with the 13 Days of Christmas from the Brewing Project. So Ross is going to get us kicked off here. What are you trying? I'm really excited about this one uh, because I've heard good things. I've heard some people really talking this one up, and I've seen it just haven't had it yet. So I'm drinking the Lakefront Breakfast Oatmeal Stout that is barrel aged in bourbon barrels. Ooh, so this nice. one comes in at a whopping 13.3%. Um, so, you know. It's going to be a good Thursday night for Ross. Be a horrible Friday morning for Ross. Uh, so expecting real dark in color, as we always get with stouts. Um, if there is any head, I'm expecting that slight like tan that you get with the barrel aged beers. Uh, I'm I'm just like so happy about your Black Friday snifter. That glass yeah. is so. I think it was a fitting snifter for it. So um, traditional colors that you expect on the nose. Um, lots of bourbon actually on the nose. Um, it's an oatmeal stout, and I, I can't tell you on the nose, but I'm like, it's a very distinct taste, oatmeal stouts, um, which I fail to figure out what it is right now off the top of my head, but it, it smells like that when you get with traditional oatmeal stout. Um, someone like maple I think the breakfast version, I think there's a little maple coming through. I wonder if it's supposed to have Stout made with chocolate and coffee, the age of burn barrels. Well, no maple at all, I don't know I'm getting that, but. All right. Oh, cheers. 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 That's really good. Um, the bourbon's there, but just, there's no bite to it. It's really, really, really smooth. Um, you get more of that fudginess from the chocolate, and then um, there's a slight bitterness from the coffee, but like the, I would say the bourbon's in the nose, but it's not really there in the mouth or the palate. Um, it's just a really smooth, kind of a thick, creamy beer that you're getting here. So this is um, it's really good. I would strongly suggest getting it if you guys see it. Oatmeal stout, bourbon barrel age. Nothing like breakfast. a coffee stout, a breakfast stout yeah. at 8.45 p.m. on a Thursday. But hey. Yeah, why not? Sounds like a tasty beer. It's really good. It's quite tasty. Yeah, well, Good stuff. Another great one there from Three Cellars. So I will dive into the Costco advent calendar. As you have seen over the past, what day is today? The 16th? 16th. Uh, 16th. So after the, oh, in the past 15 episodes, you've seen me drink what seems to be the same beer over and over and over again. So why should that stop now when I have another Hellas Lager on tap? for everyone today. So this one is called the Bavarian Lager, but if you actually look closely, it says Helles Lager Beer. So this is um, pretty much that. Uh, it says in English, oddly, aged patiently for a golden color and a classy taste. That's a really weird thing for a product of Germany to say in English, I think. I'm not quite understanding that. I don't know where this came from. It says Grandel is the brewery. Um, if we look on the back, this is brewed by Gebraut Vaughn in Nordlingen, Germany. So, I don't know. But... This is another Hellas Lager. This one comes in at a whopping 5.1%. Um, that, that might be 0.1% higher than the other ones I've had. So let's crack this thing open. Um, as per the rest of them, you're going to get a light golden looking lager. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. yeah. It's just as like completely off from what it's supposed to be. Like it I comes out like a stout or something. Like purple. Yeah, nice, <laughs> nice light golden lager. We're going to get a little bit ahead at the top. Lots of carbonation in this. Lots of carbonation bubbles. Um, not much head on that to the nose. 
It's a freaking Hellas Lager. Let's try it. Yep. A little bit of maltiness, um, a little bit of sweetness, not much else going on. Um, decent amount of carbonation. It's a Hellas Lager, folks. Cheers. Awesome. All right. Let's see what Brewing Project has got for me on day eight. Ryan Braun Day. Ryan Braun Day. They are certainly uh, putting in some interesting stuff in here. So let's let's see what. Ooh, we got another sour ale. This time, it is called. Can't read that. Obtain intellect. Ooh. With some crazy can art. It is a sour ale with peach, apricot, and blackberry. Oh, that's like so, fruit. Yeah, what was it? Apricot? Apricot? Oh, no, it's definitely apricot. Not the apricot. Ap I have no idea. I will say it how I want to. So I assume the blackberry is going to take over the color. It's oh. going to look pretty similar to that last one. Yep. I should have. I tried swirling it around. So hopefully, I got anything that was kind of sitting on the bottom. Good man. Oh, almost oh, got on the laptop that time. That would have been bad. That looked like it was about to be a bad thing that happened. Oh, it smells delicious. You get, oh, I kind of get all three of the fruits in there at the same time. You get the blackberry a little bit more prominently. The peach definitely. I might be getting the apricot, but I'm not sure. We'll see how the apricot yeah, tastes. Buddy. I get it. You can get that All apricot. Right. Cheers. Here we go. <laughs> oh wow, that's it's good. I can really get the apricot taste to come through when I drink it. The blue, the blackberries definitely there too. The peach seems like it maybe takes a backseat here, and there's a weird creaminess on the mouthfeel too. So I don't know if there's maybe some milk sugar or something in this one. It doesn't. None of them have said it. I just know that they put a, do a lot of that style of beer. So I I don't know if that's what's giving it the creaminess. Yeah, you've said that about a lot of them that don't say specifically they put any sort of lactose or milk sugar into it. Yeah. So. It's either they're putting it in there and they're not putting it on their label, which is fine unless someone's lactose intolerant. Um, or it's just something in the brewing process they do that's different than everyone else that adds that. Yeah, maybe. Or, or it's in his brain. That could be it, too. I just that's fair. I'm pouring more in here to try to get it. Yep, there's come there come the chunks. Um, <clears throat> oh, oh. But it's I, I think it's just maybe it's just they didn't filter it much. I have no idea what makes it so thick. Brewing Project, what's if the, you're watching this, let me know. Yeah. What's the it's, ABV on that one? Uh, 7.76. Oh, wow. So not 6.9. Not 6.9. But yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's very delicious and. You can definitely get all the different fruit flavors with a little bit of the sour. This one's a little bit more sweet and a little bit less um, sour than than the rest of them. That's more of a fruited sour. Yeah, Got it. more of a highly fruited one. So, but sounds, I, sounds tasty. I'm enjoying it. Cheers. Where would you put Where would you put that on your list? Probably somewhere in the top middle. It's not number one. Um, okay. I think the um, I think the oat IPA is probably my favorite so far. From, was that That's last? Cool. Was that last yeah. episode? Yeah. Yeah, it was. I think that one really kind of grew on me as I drank it, and it was quite delicious. So nice. I'll what about go you, back Plus? This is my favorite. Your favorite one it's, so far? It, yeah, it's just, I mean, it's it's really flavorful. It's full bodied. Um, is up my alley as far as styles go. Um, I mean, the Friddle beer is great. I really liked it and everything. I I, I would definitely drink it. I actually saw it at the store today. I didn't buy it, though, because I was buying other things. Um, but it, as good as that it was, this is really just, it's, it's a phenomenal beer. Nice. What about you, Josh? Where's that Hellas Lager rank? I mean, 
this is right up there. It's probably at least in the top eight Hellas loggers I've had in the advent calendar so far. So That's fantastic. Climbing the charts, baby. Eight of the ten. Yeah. God, so boring. Anyways, so um Costco, get it together. Um, we'll be continuing this. It is Thursday. It is the 16th. We've got day 17 coming for you tomorrow. Can't wait for my next Hellas Lager. So thanks, Ross. Thanks, Lau, for joining tonight, um, having a beer, and we'll see everybody in the next episode tomorrow. Thanks, everyone. See you. Bye-bye.